Today is October 31st, and for any of you that have been living under a rock, that means it is Halloween. For today's video, I thought we'd do something special and review the Albany Frankenstein. I always used to think it was the Frankenstrange, just because strange made sense, but nope, it is the Stang. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. We have four different liveries in front of us. We got Spider Trap, which is pretty classic. We got Midnight Potion, Hell's Furnace, and Blazing Death. We're gonna do Hell's Furnace. That one sounds absolutely epic. Let's go send it over to our Eclipse Boulevard garage. Now, purchasing this car for this week is going to be half off normal. Same for the Albany Lurcher and all of the other Halloween themed cars like the Romero Hearse, although that vehicle's only 40 grand, so it doesn't really matter. In today's video, I will be. In today's video, I'll be fully upgrading this vehicle, showcasing all the customization it has, and then we'll be bringing it out on a test track, showcasing its overall top speed, performance, and how it is as a sports classic. Now, I've always seen this vehicle as a muscle car, so I always find it rather interesting that it is indeed in the sports classics category, but I guess it is understandable. It still does have some classic vibes going for it. So we got some engine upgrades, we got a hood upgrade, we can give it a big ol' intake, and obviously, we're we're gonna go for the triple bug catcher. All right, we can change the interior a little bit and put an ornament on it. Uh, obviously, we're gonna go for like a Halloween ornament. Oh, can we do the Michael Myers one? Yes, let's do the Michael Myers. All right, epic. All right, what else can we do? We got some headlights we can change. Let's actually leave them as stock because they look spookier. And I don't do this normally, but let's do actually a full neon layout for this vehicle. Let's make it like a, a spooky Halloween red. There you go, nice. Okay, we got some liveries. So we can actually see all the liveries available now. And yeah, we're gonna stick with the Hell's Furnace. I just think the red flames look absolutely epic. What color do we wanna pair with these red flames? Well, judging that the vehicle has a red underglow, I'm thinking like a black will look really, really nice on this vehicle. And yeah, I think that actually does look really nice. Let's just go for a carbon black. I think that looks fantastic. Secondary color, ooh, I didn't know we actually had the opportunity for a secondary color. Ooh, what should we do for secondary? I'm kind of thinking that dark red, yeah. I don't know why. It looks interesting, but we're gonna go for it. What else do we have? Suspension we can lower? Sure, why not? We got the transmission, turbo. And yeah, there's not much in customization when it comes to this vehicle. Let's just make it really weird and put some off-road rims on the car, why not? I mean, it's Halloween, it's supposed to look funky, so we're putting all the mix match on the vehicle. Just like that, we have fully upgraded our Frankenstein. It's honestly not a bad looking car. It obviously fits the Halloween persona, and I think it actually looks really cool. It also has one of the best sounding engines in the game. Let me turn up the volume really quick and just listen to the engine. I mean, that is just an incredible sounding engine. For anybody that likes cars, you obviously like the sound of that engine. Even if you don't like cars, you probably like the sound of this vehicle. It is probably the best sounding engine in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's go bring it over to the test track and see what this car can do. In terms of top speed, this vehicle isn't really anything impressive. Reaching 106.5 miles per hour places it in 30th out of the 42 sports classics, but maybe it's got really good handling. I highly doubt it, but we're gonna find out. Let's do this. Here we go in three, two, one, full speed ahead. How do I expect this vehicle to do? Honestly, awful. I've done a couple practice laps in this car and holy crap, it is the worst handling thing I've legit ever driven. It has the thickest back tires you've ever seen in your entire life. I mean, I legit can't name vehicles that have larger tires than this apart from like trucks. And even then, this vehicle's handling is absolutely dookie. It tries to spit out just about every corner you make, which is horrendously bad. Look at that, even that slight corner there, and our vehicle's already trying to spin out. I don't even know why, it's just so bad. 
As well, the vehicle's acceleration is incredibly mediocre. Overall, this car gets a solid 2 out of 10 on handling. I mean, look at that. We hit the street pull it turn so bad. I would definitely recommend for anybody picking up this vehicle just to not drive it. Probably leave it in your garage. Maybe pull it out once every day on Halloween, but that's about it. Either way, let's keep on going here. We're going to slow down a lot so we can make it around this corner. And wow, even that corner was a bit tricky. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. It's a bit of a struggle here. All right, hold this corner tight. Ooh, oh my brat. This car just does not want to handle well. All right, we're fine. We're fine. But you can see just the acceleration. Everything about this vehicle is not feeling too great right now. We're at a minute and 20 seconds on the clock. We got to let go of the gas here so we can make it through this corner. And woof, almost a spin out, but we're all good. All right, nice. Okay. We are at the halfway point with a minute and 30 seconds. Now, the slowest car, I mean, as I said, was an SM722. That is a two minute, 35 second lap. So if this vehicle is slower than three minutes, I'll be very, very saddened. But holy, it is just so bad. Every corner is literally painful. It's like you're ripping duct tape off of my leg hair. Don't take that. I don't even know what to say, honestly, about that comment. All right, there we go. Not a terrible drift. I had to let go of a lot of power there. All right, here we go. Next corner. Oh, it's just so bad. All right, next corner, next corner. Ooh, we actually hit the wall. This is so incredibly terrible. Some of you might think that, like, I'm just doing a really bad job at driving this car. And if that's the case, I challenge you to go drive this vehicle down this course I'm doing here. See how fun it is, because holy, this car is is literally a solid 1 out of 10 on handling. It is awful. All right, we're at 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Basically just nearing what the best lap time I was able to get for the uh, SM is. And we are just getting to the finishing stretch. At least we are getting there. I mean, that's the good news. Come on. Full speed. Go, go, go. I think we can do it. We can do it. All right, here we go. Nice around the corner. Not too bad. All right. You know what? Not the worst thing ever. I was expecting a 2 minute 50 second lap, and we are going to do a bit worse than 250, but not that much worse. Here we go, around the corner, and no, we didn't beat it. We were over 3 minutes, 3 minutes and 0.79 seconds. We did pretty good for, I think, what this car is. Probably if I'd gotten a perfect lap, we could have gotten about a 258, but even then, what an awful experience to drive here. To be fair, the vehicle is on discount. It is normally sitting upwards of $500,000, but you can get it this week for about $250,000. So, it's not a bad deal. I mean, for $250,000, you're really not spending any money on the vehicle. But at the same time, I really just don't think there's much going for this car apart from the looks. So, if you think it looks amazing, obviously pick it up, because I think the car looks great as well. Super cool design. It, funny enough, is a four-seater. You can have two people get in the back of the car as well, which makes it pretty good if you have a couple friends. Although, let's be real, the majority of us play GTA solo nowadays. I just personally think this vehicle should have gone a bit faster in top speed, maybe 112 or maybe even 115 miles per hour, because the handling is actually the worst part. If it had decent handling, the car would be okay, but it's the fact that the vehicle has such bad handling and such bad top speed, it is like the, the trifecta of bad combinations. So overall, fun car, looks great, but that's about as much as I can say. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!